Hi and welcome back to the tutorial series on image processing with OpenCV and Python. In this tutorial, we will learn how to handle mouse events in OpenCV. So a mouse event is generally nothing but any action which we do with our mouse. It may be anything like a, a single click or a double click or a left mouse button click or a right mouse button click or moving a mouse or a scrolling using a mouse and uh, pressing the middle button of a mouse and many such events. And in this tutorial, we will be looking into uh, something called as cb2.setMouseCallback function, which will be called whenever a mouse event act, uh, event occurs. And uh, but according to that event, we will be doing some actions. So now let's jump into the coding part of uh, handling mouse events in OpenCV. Let's start by importing OpenCV and uh, let's import numpy as np before looking into uh, what are the functions uh, that are present or what are the function which we can do using a uh, cv2.mouse set callback what we can do is that uh, first let's know what are the events that are available in opencv so let me create a list of events and how i am going to do is that i am going to iterate over the directory of cv2 so i for i in directory of cv2 and i'm going to insert that into the list if and only if i found the string event in that particular uh, file or module so what i can say is that if events event in i so let's iterate over the uh, events once again and let's print all the available events so let me save this and uh, let's run this piece of code now so if you see over here the uh, events which, which we have are uh, flag alt key flag control key flag left button flag mouse button flag right button flag shift key and all such events which are uh, dependent on the uh, no, type of key which we press and uh, the mouse events which are available are left button double click left button down left button up middle button double click middle button down middle button up mouse wheel mouse move and another mouse wheel and right button double click and uh, right button down right button up and all these are the events which are available in uh, OpenCV so now let's move into the actual coding of uh, the uh, handling mouse events in OpenCV. So before going to the function which we call uh, while uh, handling mouse event, let us create an image, fully black image, so that I'm going to say np.0s of size 800 cross 800 cross 3. And uh, let us say the type data type b unsigned integer of uh, 8 bits and uh, first of all the first necessary thing which we need for handling mouse events in opencv is that a window in which we must look for any mouse event so uh, first of all we must create a window with a particular name and we'll always be looking for mouse events only within that window so uh, creating a window we can do it in two different ways first thing is cv2 dot named window and uh, what i can say is that i can specify the name of the window over here so this is one way the another way which we can do is that simply say cv2 dot im show of image comma image so now we have created a window of the name image and i have um displaying the image in that img image in that particular window so what we can do is that let us wait for some time that is let us wait until i press a key and uh, once i press a key let me destroy all the windows so this is the basic code setup but uh, i said that whenever a mouse event occurs so we need to execute a particular function so let's define that particular function as cv2 uh, define print 
coordinate and uh, let me uh, in general all the mouse callback function we call this function as mouse callback function because whenever a mouse event occurs we are going to call this function so all the mouse callback functions should take in the following parameters the first parameter is the event which has occurred the next parameter is the next two parameters are the x and y coordinates the third parameter is the flags parameter and the fourth thing is params so this is the general setup for all print coordinate so what we can do is that uh, first to understand what happens uh, let me just print out the coordinate of this particular image so i can say that x comma let me print a comma and say y so uh, i have defined the mouse callback function now i have to say that uh, whenever a mouse event occurs i have to call that function so what how we can do is that we have to call cv2 dot state mouse callback function so what this takes in is that this function takes in two parameters the first thing is the image uh, the window name on which we have to look for the mouse event to occur so uh, we are going to look for any mouse event that is going to occur on the uh, window named image and the second parameter is the function to be called whenever the mouse event occurs so this is all about uh, the general setup for all mouse callback functions let me save this piece of code and let me increase the size of the terminal for you and let me run this piece of code now so let's wait for the window to appear so here is a window so i'm just i'm going to move my mouse over this image now and you can you will see that the values of the coordinates are being printed now the event which is occurring is that i'm just moving my mouse over the window so that that particular coordinate is getting printed over here so now let me move out of the window and i'm going to come inside the window i'm just going to click and i'm going to hold my mouse button say you can see uh, value gets printed and i'm going to press the coordinate gets printed so this is the general uh, way in which we have to set the mouse callback function and uh, to move into a better understanding of this uh, particular function what we can do is that we can print the coordinate value uh, as we do in graph plotting that is i'm going to plot that particular coordinate i'm going to print that coordinate value so what i can say is that i'm going to wait for the mouse event which is left button down so one second even should be in caps underscore left button down so if this event occurs what i am going to do is that i'm going to print the x and y value and uh, apart from that i'm going to plot it on that image so we can uh, what we can do is that we can use cv2.circle function to plot the image cv2.circle function the first parameter is image the second parameter is the center let's say the center to be x and y because that is the place where the action has occurred and the third parameter which will be passing is the color since it's a black colored image to have better cont contrast i'll be saying it to be white oh sorry uh, the third parameter is radius right i'm just missed it so i'll say the radius to be three pixels just a small point the fourth parameter is the color and the final parameter is the thickness so i'll just going to draw a filled circle so that i'm just passing in minus one so i've drawn the circle now and now we have to plot uh, just i have to say what coordinate the action has occurred so what i can say is that i'll just create a string name string xy and uh, let me plot it accordingly and uh, let me convert the coordinate to string first i'm using concatenation operator using plus plus concatenate strings over here and uh, string of y coordinate and uh, let's close the bracket so this is a string and let us say the font to be cv2 dot font underscore of uh, let she plain i'm going to use this font now and uh, let us call cv2 dot put text function and i'm going to put the text on the image img and the second thing is the origin on which uh, origin of the font 
origin of the text i say it to be x plus 10 comma y minus 10 so that it doesn't get overlapped on the circle which we have drawn and the third parameter oh sorry the second parameter is the string i'm just passing the string the third parameter is the origin the fourth parameter is the font and the fifth parameter is the font scale let me say it to be one and let the font color also be 255 comma 255 that is it it is white and let us show the image now on the same window so let us save this and uh, let us run this piece of code now so look at over here we have got our uh, uh, window over here so let me click over here see when i click i'm just getting a small point and i'm getting the particular coordinate value so let me click click somewhere else so look at over here we are just plotting the point and uh, marking the coordinate so i can do anything i want over here see whatever i do whenever i click uh, whenever i just uh, press my left button of my mouse i'm get i'm getting the point to be plotted and i'm just marking the coordinate so this is one basic example of uh, how we can modify that mouse callback function and uh, now let's look into another function now we have just put a text onto the image that is the coordinate of where the action has occurred now what we can do is that uh, let us click on two points and a line will be drawn between those two points uh, so before going into that let me define a global variable to be previous of x comma previous of y why i'm going to these two variables is that uh, we are going to keep in track of two points so we have to keep in track of the present point where we have clicked and the previous point where we have clicked so i'm just declaring a global variable over here which is previous x and previous y and i'm uh, initializing a value to be minus one initially and let's say that we are going to access these global variables over here and i'm going to access the global variables over here so i'm not going to say change this point over here so uh, let me check if this is the first point i've got if that is the first point I've got, then it will be previous of x will be minus one and previous of y will also be minus one. So if that is the case, what I will do is that previous of x equal to previous of x comma previous of y equal to the current coordinate which it has occurred. So if not, that is if I'm getting the second point over here, what I will do is that I'm going to draw a line over here cv2 dot line and the line parameter the first parameter is the image on which we are going to draw the second thing is the first point which is previous of x comma previous of y and the third parameter is the second point which is x comma y and uh, the fourth parameter is the color let us draw a red colored line over here 255 and uh, the thickness let it be say 5 pixels so since i've got the second point i have to look for the first point again so that i'm just resetting my previous of x values to be minus one and minus one again so i've just drawn the image let us show the image now cv2 dot im show of image comma image let me delete this over here since the same statement is getting repeated again let me save this and uh, let's run this piece of code again so we have our image to be displayed over here so let me first click a point over here and i've got the point and the coordinate so when i make a second click over here i'll be getting a line drawn between these two points see you can see the difference right these two are the coordinates where we where the mouse event has occurred and a line has been drawn between these two coordinates and let me click over here and click over here another line is getting drawn let me click over here and let me click over here let me again do it again do it and this happens infinitely until i press a key on the keyboard so this is all about the basic operations which we can do using mouse callback function in the next tutorial we'll look into some other complex functions. 
and that is for today's tutorial and if you like the video don't forget to uh, like share and subscribe and if you have any queries just post it in the comment box and you will find this piece of code in my github repo